We're going to work with the rudder primarily because everything that we show you within this in manufacturing the rudder will be useful throughout the whole airplane. Okay, so what we're trying to do today is we're going to uh, make a, a rib and show basically how we're going to do rib forming. And then I'll come in and do my, my nose round up in here. And these won't get detached now until I'm ready to put aluminum into them. They'll stay like this throughout the whole sanding period and everything. So. Bend up from one end to the other and all the way back. I'll move the vise around so you can have a peek. Okay, so now we've got the aluminum started, but you see it's already waving. It's already starting to not want to form properly. So know where the reliefs are. And we're just gonna put a little bit here. Now as you can see is as I pull on these. You can see things starting to straighten up just by me putting a little bit of an indent in here. Just training it a little bit. And that's a good start. So instead of that big waves that we were having, we've now got a fairly uniform coming over. As you can see, I still have a little bit here. And I'm going to work that around. And you're going to see this. Just go slow. Take your time, guys. What you're trying to do here is you're trying to move the material around into the reliefs. But it comes out. And there's the rib. It's a gorgeous rib. We, we have got beautiful sides on here. And do this. As you can see, it's pretty much broken off. And we can do the same again. We've already sheared. We've already scored our line through here. And we can bring our spar up as well. Just a little bit at a time. Okay, it's 25 thou. We're not overly concerned with this. I'm getting a smiley into it, like the 16. Just a little bit. I'll go down again, down again, down again, and I'll just work it a bit. And the top's already broken. There, that's all broken off now. There we go, and down. One more time up, and we're finished. Preloaded this because I've got a long spar here. This brake is 54 inches long. Any break you do or, or desire to get, if you wish to purchase one, make sure it's longer than four feet. As a rule, there are very few pieces that are over four feet in this plane or in most Zenith design planes. But you do want the little bit extra on either side just to give you a little bit of play. So once again, we've preloaded it to accept the 25 and we're just going to put in two bends into it. There's the one. Pack now. Nothing ruins a rib more than having one flange go one way, the other flange go the other way. And what we use our cells. This is our, our method. We are plans builders. We have been plans builders for a lot of years. And, and there it is. Just put the, the form on the way. We put the die in. And a couple of things. Normally I would tend to use a hydraulic press to bang this down. And you just come in. Now and, and start whacking on this. And you have to go ahead and hit it. When you do that, it, it will tend to bend where it needs to bend when you've got it clamped this way. And we'll go back and forth just like we did when we were doing the flanges on the ribs. So here we go. Okay. 
can see that I've probably got another seven or eight or maybe 10 degrees to go. All right, so what you'll see here is I've set this protractor to 30 degrees and we are exactly right on. So you don't have to have big fancy tools to do this stuff. You know, a couple of two by fours and a bench and some clamps and a nice good hammer and away you go. We've got a really nice radius and we have exactly 30 degrees.